Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I am the Apostle Sharon Shearer, and my husband is Bishop Gary L. Shearer from Transformation Life Ministries, where our mission is to transform the world, multitudes of souls at a time, by the renewing of the mind through the preached gospel of Jesus Christ. I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, who is our Messiah. Just wanted to jump on here uh, day two of the fast and give you um, some words of encouragement, some scripture, a word from the Lord and um, encourage you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but in 2022, I am seeking the deep things of God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I am seeking the deep things of the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and for those of you uh, who are fasting with us, just know that this is a season where the Lord is going to minister to you through his word uh, during your time of prayer and fasting. And Corinthians, first uh, Corinthians chapter two and verse 10 says, but God had revealed them by unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things. Yea the deep things of God. Hallelujah. I am seeking the deep things of God. Glory to God. Let's do some memory verses. Um, we're going to start with our other set of memory verses. And if you are interested in the memory verses, email me, inbox me, text me. My phone number is 513-289-2217. I will send you the memory verses so that you can also have these particular scriptures committed to memory. So we're just going to do part of them today. The, the shortest verse, Bible verse in the Bible is John 11 and 35. Jesus wept. The 23rd Psalms goes, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. My rod, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever amen Psalms 121 verse 1 and 2 I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth Romans 10 and 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God Matthew 6 and 33 one of my foundational scriptures but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you first John 1 verse 9 and 10 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us John three sixteen for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And Psalms 100, hallelujah, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. How many of you got a hallelujah? My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. Don't you know he deserves it? You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. 
to you. Somebody just ought to lift their voice to the Lord and say, my hallelujah belongs to you. Glory to God. You deserve it. How many of you know he deserves it? You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. During your personal prayer life, you ought to sing a song unto the Lord. You don't have to be a psalmist. I'm not. Hallelujah. But every saint got a song. Glory to God. That's what my pastor told me. He said, every saint got a song. Hallelujah. And if you just begin to lift your voice up to the Lord, my hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. Father, we come before you this morning with a heart of thanksgiving. Oh God, we're so full and we're so excited about all that you've already done and all that you're going to do. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You're the beginning of the end. You're the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, without you, we are nothing, Father. Oh God, you are the God that made the moon, the sun, the stars. Hallelujah. And you hung them in the sky, Father God. Oh God, you are the creator of the heaven and the earth and we worship you Lord the creator not your creation Father you are omnipotent hallelujah all powerful all knowing you are the great sovereign and almighty God and we worship you today God we worship you Father we magnify your name Lord Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus for hearing our humble cry Lord Jesus we come before your throne Father boldly covered in the blood of Jesus Christ Thanking you, Lord Jesus, first of all, for this day, a day full of new mercy that we never seen before, God. You're so good. You're so worthy. You're so awesome. You're so magnificent. You're so powerful. You're so loving. You're so caring. You're so thoughtful. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because we don't know your ways. Your ways are not our ways and your thoughts are not our thoughts, oh God. But we're seeking to know your will, Father God. We want to be lined up with your will. We want to be in your way. We want to walk the way that you want us to walk, Father. We thank you for the blood. The blood that Jesus shed on Calvary. Hallelujah. The reason, hallelujah, that we have been adopted in. You gave your only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We thank you for eternal, everlasting life in Christ Jesus. We thank you that we can call you our father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord Jesus. Take us a little higher, Father. We just want to go a little higher, Lord, today, Lord Jesus. We want to walk around heaven with you today, Lord Jesus. We're looking for a download, Father. We need a word from you, Lord Jesus. Open up your gates. Hallelujah. Open up the heavens. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Lord, we love you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. We bless your name. We make your name great in all the earth for you are great and you're greatly to be praised. You are so good to us. Lord, we can, if he had 10,000 tongues, we could not tell you enough how much we love you, how much we worship you, how much we magnify you, Lord. But we want to worship you in our lifestyle, worship you in our prayer life, worship you on the workplace, worship you, hallelujah, in our homes, Lord. We want our life to be a life of worship. Hallelujah. We want to be in your bosom, Lord Jesus. We're chasing after you, Lord. You say in your word, those that diligently seek you, that you will reward them, Father. We're seeking after you diligently on today, Father God. During this time of fasting, we thank you for the grace to fast. We thank you, Father God, that you're changing our mindset, Father, that you are giving us a consciousness, oh God, about the things we put in our body and the acts that we commit with our body because know ye not that you are the temple of the living God. Oh God, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable born to you, which is our reasonable service. We won't be conformed to this world, but we'll be transformed by a renewing of our mind through the word of God so that we can be a reasonable service unto you, Lord Jesus. 
Because you've done it all for us. You gave it all. You've done it all. You laid it all down, Father. You went to the cross. You you went to Calvary, Father, so that we could live again in eternal life. You became poor that we may be rich. You came so that we could have life everlasting, an abundant life, Father God, full of love, oh God, full of peace, joy, and grace, oh God, so that we could have a rest assurance in the hereafter, Lord Jesus. That's why you did it, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you defeated Satan. Hallelujah, that he's a defeated foe. No matter how he come, you are more powerful. You are all powerful. And the devil is under our foot on today. Hallelujah, whatever he attacked us with on yesterday, he's been defeated on today. Oh, God, we thank you for victory in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah for victory. Hallelujah, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. If I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle, victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Victory. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Victory today is mine. Hallelujah. How many of you have victory in Jesus today? I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Oh, oh, glory. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Psalms 24. Verse 7 through 10, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Lord, we invite you in today. The King of Glory shall come in. Hallelujah. I command all the dark works done against my life in the secret to be exposed and be nullified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Agree with me in prayer. I command all the dark works against my life and against your life in the secret to be exposed and nullified in the name of Jesus. I loose myself and I loose my children. I loose my grandchildren from any dark spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. If my life is wrong, correct me, Lord Jesus. Let every anti progress altar fashioned against me and everyone under the sound of my voice be destroyed with the thunder fire of God in the name of Jesus. I command our destiny to change for the better in the name of Jesus. Let our hands become a sword of fire to cut down demonic trees in the name of Jesus. All boastful powers delegated against us be silenced permanently in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. As we go further into this time of fasting, our prayers will become more and more and more powerful. I want to leave you with some more scripture 
in the book of Luke in the 12th chapter. Um, verse 6, are not five sparrows sold for two farlings and not one of them is forgotten by God before God? Not one of them is forgotten before God, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. The Lord wanted me to tell you that you're more valuable than many sparrows. He's got his eye on you. And he knows how many numbers of hair are on your head. He is concerned about you. Also, I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that deny me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto the magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall answer or what ye shall say for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say somebody is going before the magistrates or the powers you're going in front of the people and you don't know what to say hallelujah and the Lord told me to tell you on the day in that very same hour the Holy Ghost will tell you what to say so take no thought about what to say hallelujah because the Lord is going to give you a word of knowledge a word of wisdom he's going to speak to through you uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost and give you the right answers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, what a powerful word. Lord, we thank you on today for your word. We thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you for this season of fasting. We lift up our, our hands and we praise you, almighty God. Hallelujah. You've been tuned in to the Apostle Sharon Shearer, Transformation Life Ministries. If you like more information, you can go to www.sharonshearer, S-H-E-A-R-E-R.com. Hallelujah. If you like to sow into our international ministry, we have a church in the Dominican Republic and we send uh, monies to support them every month. So if you'd like to be a part of that movement or you want to go with us on our next missionary trip, reach out. You can email me. I'll so at Sharon, the weave master at gmail.com. Uh, subscribe to this podcast, share it with your friends. This is a way that you can continue to spread the gospel. Be blessed. Amen.